Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning WooCommerce theme development tutorial. This is our part 41. Inside this video session guys, we will understand about that is what is a theme customizer. After understanding, we will make a theme customizer to manage our theme settings. Now if I back to browser, this is the admin panel of the WordPress what I have installed and this is the front end look. Let's say that we want to customize some theme settings. For that, WordPress have a panel called Theme Customizer Panel. Now if you go inside this admin panel, here inside this, inside this appearance tab, we will have a customized submenu. Now if we click on this customized submenu, it is going to open two panels. First, this is left hand side panels, also referred as customizer panel. In the right hand side, we have a theme panel. This is theme preview panel. It means if we change any settings inside this panel, it is going to change and reflect inside this preview screen. If it is ok, then we will click on publish button and save that settings. So this is all about our theme customizer panel. This is not the single option to go inside appearance tab and click here inside this customize menu. If we make some zoom, now inside this appearance, here we will have customize sub menu. Also this is the same link we will have the available inside this on the header. This is admin menu bar. Inside this admin menu bar, we can find here that is this is all about customize icon. So if we click on that, it is going to load the same page what we have opened from this sub menu. Now these are the settings. These are also termed as sections or panels. Now inside this site identity, this is a section. If we click on that, now as we can see that inside this, we will have a logo setting, site title, tagline and site icon. These are the fields or we can say these are the controls. By the help of these controls, we can update any value inside this site. Now if I go here, this is site identity, it's a section because inside this section, we will have the controls. Again, we will have menus. If we click on that, inside this, we have a primary menu. If we click on that, these are the controls. Again go back, we will have theme left sidebar menu. Again we will have some controls, so these are sections. But menus, this is a panel. If I again go back, remember keep in mind that if any section, it is going to contain controls, it is termed as sections. But whereas when we click on this menus, it is going to contain some sections. So it is termed as panels. Panel is a collection of sections and section is collection of controls. So this is panel. Here we will have section, section 1, section 2 and so on and these are the controls of each respective section. We need to understand very clearly about the concept of panel, section and controls because from the next video we are going to create one more settings or one more section inside this list that is going to manage all about our footer text. Right now as we know that this is a static message but actually we are making a WooCommerce theme so this is the also text we are going to manage via theme customizer. Again if we go inside this home page settings as we can see that we have controls so that's why it is a section. Now here inside this WooCommerce, if you go inside that, these are sections. So here WooCommerce is a panel because panel is going to contain the collection of sections and each section is going to contain the controls. Controls are either can be, it, it can be a text area, radio buttons, check boxes, select, input type text and so on. So here we have two controls, a text area and a checkbox. So same, we have 
another sections which is going to contain the drop downs like input type select and so on. So these are sections of this WooCommerce panel. So from the next video, we will make a section here something copyright settings or let's say footer settings. Inside that section, we will register a setting and a control. That is the control we will take as a input tab text field. Inside that text field, we will enter some values and that value will be reflected inside this theme. So this is known as or this is the whole scenario what we have discussed. This is all comes under theme customizer. So inside theme customizer, we have a global object provided by WordPress something called WP customizer. By the help of WP customizer global object, we can call some methods, let's say add setting, add section, add control. And by the help of those methods, we can register our theme customizing panels and we can control all the theme settings and all about theme text. So from the next video guys, we are going to register a section from here, something from functions.php file. If we want to add any settings to our theme, we need to actually add inside functions.php. In that video, we will also understand what is the difference between theme mod and options. Because theme mod is a different concept and option is different concept. Option I mean that is options table. If we save any value inside options, so that value will be accessible inside each of the theme or each of the plugin of WordPress. But when we save any value under theme modification, then that value will be accessed only by activated theme. I am telling activated theme. So inside this video session guys, if you went out, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.